The Barefoot Bowls Club are a four-member garage rock band based in Melbourne. They released their first debut EP in 2019, Barefoot Bowling, and most recently released a single this year called Teeth. It's a great honour to be joined by three of the band's members, Grace, Astrid and Clancy, to show us what it's like to be in an indie band. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us, the Barefoot Bowls Club, for um, our interview on Offbeat. <laughs> so my first question is, how did your band form? Uh, so basically Clancy and I grew up together playing music and I wanted to start a band specifically called Barefoot Bowls Club. Well, I was at a gig with my best friend and or housemate, Brianna, uh -huh. and in the background currently making oh hi it. Brianna <laughs> <laughs> and I was at a gig at a bowls club and it was actually Clancy's other band's gig oh, and um, in Cut Society who yeah. my other housemate plays in oh, love it, and, love it, love it. Um, yeah and so Brianna and I were playing lawn bowls which was like the <laughs> one and only time I've ever played lawn bowls <laughs> and I was like this is a fantastic band name um and so I rang around a few people including Grace and I was like you should rename your band Barefoot Bowls Club because it's a good name and everyone said no yeah. um so Clancy and I decided to start it <laughs> and then um and then we played one gig without a bass player and it was a disaster was, so <laughs> we it was fun but we caught up G-Ray and then um yeah, and then we started playing gigs all together. Yeah, so. And then we uh we eventually acquired our friend Skater Kate as our yeah. harmonica player and or um yeah. multi-instrumentalist. So we are a four piece. So what what inspired you all to pursue a music career? I guess for, for me and Clancy, like <clears throat> our parents met because they <clears throat> were in a band ah. and decided and then started dating. And so yeah. we grew up playing a lot of music with our family. Um, and then, and then Grace sort of found her own way to music, um, through school and stuff. Yeah. So. I think I had a, I had a really good, uh, bass teacher. I think she just like, <laughs> I really enjoyed what I was doing. I didn't realize that it would be something I enjoyed so much. And then I think I got to the end of high school and I was like, oh, well, I may as well just keep studying this. So yeah. I kept studying music and, Jeez. um, yeah, I, I think also family, like my family's really into music as well. Not as, um musically talented as <laughs> what family um we, we more sort of like car karaoke yeah um, beautiful love it yeah I think it, it is an important part of mm. family and stuff like that so it's always been around the house so what what are your musical influences then do you have any that's a really good question I feel like when we started the band like <clears throat> a lot of our musical influences were um bands like the creases which it's funny because our stuff sounds nothing like the creases. It's I think it's interesting because we all come from such a we all have common interests in bands, mm -hmm. but in terms of like what we like to play, yeah. we're all quite different. Like Astrid comes from a bit more of like a folk background. Yeah. Um yeah. Clancy Steph Rock, I think yeah. would be yeah. Yeah, like yeah. whether it's guitar it's or drums. Um and then I like funk music and oh, wow. I've been um yeah, groovy stuff. So um, you put us all together and then you get something, uh, just a mix of it all. Yeah, just, I love it, a bit of everything, and then it all just kind of goes together. That's so cool. cool we definitely cool. have, like, bands that we enjoy. Yeah. Like, Creases. I think at the time there was, like, the Kooks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. We went down the indie, the Melbourne indie rock path. It, <laughs> uh, so <laughs> listening to your songs and to your music, they they seem to be personal and you draw on personal experiences was that intentional do you always want to sing about personal mm, yeah so I I write all the lyrics um mm -hmm. and yeah it's really interesting I think like a lot of the songs start out with just like a little idea or a concept whether it's mm -hmm. like getting something or you know a house or a place or whatever mm -hmm. and then <clears throat> they sort of end up dropping in little personal nuggets of my own truth and my own life yeah. in there um yeah and I, I guess that's sort of just something that has always been my style of songwriting I really come to the yeah. band with like oh I hear this song as like a slow yeah like, like a ballad or she'll have uh -huh. a, a, an idea in mind yeah and then get fancy night and it will be churned pulled apart put back together and it's something completely different what could start as a very slow song ends up being punk 
I love that. <laughs> so you just to see where it takes yeah, you. We, yeah, we did most of our early rehearsals at my mum's house. Uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. And now Grace and I live together. So we have a big band room and, uh-huh. um, and you know, lots of our housemates are pretty musical as well. Yeah. So yeah. we've just got like a million offshoot side band concepts now. For yeah. isolation. <laughs> it's it's like, oh, we could probably- do this. Yeah. yeah, like I'll oh, just one song with this combination of friends. Yeah. And- <laughs> I think our first lockdown, we all um, we were staying with like at our parents' houses. Yeah, places where like we couldn't jam with other mm. people. I mean, I had a jam. We had a, I had a plumber come over, um, and he just happened to be a drummer over lockdown. Ah. And I was like, do you, do you want to possibly stay for about five minutes? <laughs> this is extra to jam. <laughs> That's and, hilarious. I love that. Oh, and- <laughs> did he? Did he end up or? Absolutely. It was fantastic. That's incredible. Yeah. Lancy produced a whole album. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Oh, congratulations. This lockdown's been a little bit slower. Mm-hmm. It's it's draining. Yeah. Yeah, last year he he made a whole album by himself of like sort of surf psych rock stuff. Um it's called Gnome Tivities by Clancy Gnome. Watt. So oh. Gnome Tivities. So- yeah, okay, so okay. everyone watching, check that out. Yeah. So, so what he did that, and then yeah. and then we've been yeah just working on little bits here and there. But I mean, we had plans to make an album. There were a lot of things in the works that sort of haven't been able to happen because mm-hmm. we haven't been able to play gigs, so we haven't been able to make money. I think um, we have a lockdown to yeah. practice, and like with no pressure to write, it's yeah. been nice. Um, like Ash has been getting extremely good um, at guitar. <laughs> oh, um, beautiful. Uh, which is like we haven't. Like we'd practice the songs that we've written and yeah. we played show. There wasn't a lot of time to um like do anything other than, you know, play those songs and rehearse those songs. And so them, yeah. it's been nice to you to explore um, you know, what else are we listening to? What else do we enjoy? And um, you know, new skills and stuff like that. So like, what would you say has been your career highlight so far? Oh, mm-hmm. there's been a few fun times. Yeah, I mean, there's obviously like the gigs that you have at people's houses that are that are just really fun. Probably <laughs> one of our favorite times was um, going to Adelaide yeah. to play um, yeah. at the Lions Arts Factory. Um, we drove all the way over in a big yeah. van, all our mates, and it, it was just really nice to get to go to another city and meet mm-hmm. bands from another state. Yeah. Um, that was probably our career highlight, and there were lots of great bands on that lineup. Um, like- and what would you say to anyone who's wanting to um, create indie music? Do you have any advice for people out there? That's really interesting. I mean, I guess, like, in the words of Nike, just do it. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just do it. I think, like, I think, you know, yeah. so much about yeah. the gays were really hard it was like Mm. not really knowing people in the music industry it was just like going out every week and playing terrible shows with to absolutely no one except like Uh your mates yeah I think you keep doing it and keep gigging and keep playing music and and making friends with these bands so that so that you can play better shows and better venues and I think just like yeah just being nice to people and Mm -hmm. taking an interest in other local musicians is really important um, yeah, so I guess um, as Barefoot Bowls Club, we've got heaps of new songs in the work. We're yeah. finally going to do our launch for our song Teeth that we released ages ago yeah, on the 8th of that. December. Yeah. Um, that was an and- awesome song, by the way. That was Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> we are eventually going to start recording our album when we're allowed out into the world a bit more, which uh-huh, I guess we are. Uh-huh. Um, oh, yeah. so we've got a bit to look forward to then. Love exactly, that. yeah. I think Barefoot Bowls oh. Club will do things and then we're all going to yes. go and, and then do our own. Do your own. So we're going to have to watch out for the Barefoot Bowls yeah. Club. And Beautiful. Then, so yeah. what's the best way we can, like, keep up to date with with all your activities? Yeah. Our gnomativities are mostly documented on our Instagram. That's uh-huh. that's what we're best at doing. And then we also share stuff for all our mates' bands and these guys' yeah. other projects and stuff as well. So Instagram is just Barefoot Bowls Club. Um, okay. Yeah. Beautiful. So everyone listening, Bear Footballers Club, follow that on Instagram. Then you can keep up to date with me as well. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And be careful not to follow any actual Bear Footballers Clubs because they are also on Instagram. <laughs> okay. So everyone hear that as well. Okay. We don't want that. We want the band. We don't want the band, not the, the band. sport. Well, thank you so much to Greg, Astrid, and Darcy. Thank you so much for your time and joining us and offbeat. I seriously can't wait to see everything else 
you all get up to and and see what like the future holds and um all that yeah but thank you so much for joining us today seriously really appreciate it and i'm sure everyone watching will have gotten a lot out of it thanks so much thank you cheers